What is up, everybody? Josiah here with Adam Herr. How are you, Adam? I am just great. You're happy because Battlefield 1 came out last I, week. I am very happy that Battlefield 1 came out. Your um, most anticipated game, your favorite shooter series. You are our elite first-person shooter. <laughs> Wait, are you actually admitting that now? No, self-proclaimed. So, <laughs> okay. General thoughts of the game. You reviewed it for thegeekiverse.com. I did Your first it. review. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Well done. 40 views. Go watch more of it. Or go read more of it, not watch more of it. You can watch it. You just have to have someone read it for well, you. Yeah. That's just, <laughs> I mean, who knows? We should... Oh, that's a great series idea. We could just read our own reviews to the camera. And then Theatrically. Just, and then just... Yeah. We'll, okay. we'll act them out. It'll be like drunk history where they act out what the people are saying. We'll just do that with our reviews. Shouldn't be hard. Done. <laughs> so, um, Battlefield. Yeah, so Battlefield. Back to what we're actually talking about. Uh, I gave it a 9. Um, a 9 out of 9. It was actually a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Very good. Game of the Year contender. Absolutely. It deserves, for the campaign, it deserves that 9. For the multiplayer... That's interesting. Let me stop you there really quick. The campaign is really good. Oh, it's phenomenal. But traditionally, Battlefield campaigns, outside of a few in the series, have been bad. I have... I've been playing for... I got it on the 18th. Yeah, I got it on the 18th. The early enlister. Yes. Um, barring all the stuff that happened between me and Amazon, which you could go and read about on my Twitter, because we had a whole thing about it. It sounds like Amazon is like your girlfriend. Oh, my God, it was bad. Um, but barring all that stuff, the game was phenomenal. I then told my friends who I was playing with, you need to play the campaign. Every single one of them was just like, no, it's a Battlefield campaign. Like, there's no point. It's like... No, no, seriously, the campaign is gorgeous, it plays phenomenal, the mechanics of it, like, the, the whole, the, everybody's seen it already, so it's not a spoiler at, at all, it's in the first or second mission, uh, past that tutorial, the bird flying mm -hmm. is so cool, like, I've seen it, I've, I've not only just watched it with no audio, I've watched it with the audio, and... It's so different when you play it. Like, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it besides it's so different, and it's it really takes you away from the fact that you're in a war, but there's just this bird flying through the war, and it just, like, it's calm, it's tranquil, it's like nothing is going on. It's so cool. Uh, when you get to multiplayer, it kind of starts to lose the enthusiasm for the nine currently. I'll say currently. That's very interesting because this is a multiplayer focused game. But I wouldn't say that it's losing the nine because of the like the game itself. It's losing it because it's a typical battlefield launch. It's having issues. That's kind of amazing at this point. It's having issues. This is not a new system by any stretch anymore. No, it's not. PS4 but, or Xbox. Now we were talking earlier, it's not I wouldn't say it is as bad as Battlefield 4. Oh, gosh, no. That was awful. Battlefield 4, I got launch day for Xbox One. You'd go through the campaign a level or two in. It would drop you out and take you back to the, the Xbox load screen, not just the Battlefield load screen. You'd get back. Your game was not saved. The online was just, they call it drop in, drop out. It was all drop out. It was terrible. So for years. There are some common things that are happening. With... The um, I have never had this happen in campaigns. So if it's happened to you and you've been playing the campaign, I apologize, but it's never happened to me. Tell us in the comments below. We'll rephrase this whole part. But when you're playing online, remember when it was an older game, like an older system, and the game would freeze, but the sound would just keep like juddering back and forth? Yep. You'll, it'll happen. That'll happen, and then it'll be at a black screen, and then all of a sudden you're back to the Xbox home screen. And you gotta relaunch the game. I've had, I've been playing, and all of a sudden I've respawned. My screen was black. I had all of the graphics, like I had the mini map, I had the score, I had my crosshair. I could fire my, like my friends were standing right next to me, and I was firing my weapon, but I had a black screen for everything else. Have to relaunch the game. Severe lag. Like I'm talking. The, you see this little icon show up on the side of your screen, and you basically put your controller down and say, well, that was a fun game, because you just can't play it. And then it turned, and now I've, we've moved my setup around, so now it's at the 
it's at the computer that's connected right to the modem. So I know, I do a speed test the minute the game lags, I know it's not our internet. Our internet's terrible, but it's not the internet that's the problem. So it's having issues. The developers have said that, like there's some things that I mentioned in the review, not being able to ch uh, change your class from the home screen, stuff, just little tiny things, balancing of certain weapons. They've come out and said, None of that is happening until the game stabilizes. What does that mean? I, I don't know. Like, you made the game. Are you stabilizing it? Is the game just self-aware? <laughs> stabilizing say, itself? Is Battlefield self-aware? <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Are they so? Like, is that developer speak for, yet again, there's way more people on the servers than we were ever planning, so now the whole no. game's screwed up? Like, it's we're working on it, and we haven't find, found the problem yet. Yeah, like, I, I just, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to take away the 9 when the game itself, if the game just worked perfectly and there were no issues, that game is 100% a 9. You kind of got to take it into consideration, but I would say it's fair if that corrects itself in, in the next I mean, weeks. We're... What, we get, it's the 27th when we're filming this, so it's been out. Okay, so about 10 days. It's been out for about 10 days since we've recorded this. At this point, you kind of got to figure out what's the problem here. You're like, going to lose people and fast. I mean... Call of Duty's out in two weeks. I'll say this. I would be willing to drop the score of the review... If this does not get fit, like this is a huge part, a huge part of your game is multiplayer. Your multiplayer is not working very well, so I would be absolutely willing to drop down the score of the review that I gave this game if they don't find a solution to these problems. I mean, these are major problems to have, especially if you're come out and said we're not fixing anything else until it stabilizes. How long is that going to be? Like. Right. It's a little nervous that the, or nerve wracking that they're like, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that stuff. We just don't know what the problem is now. Like, right. Well, hopefully, Battlefield One uh, fixes are on the way here from EA and. Uh, I Dice. I hope so. I mean, I'm also questioning what was the point of having a beta if. Correct. The problems that we were having in the beta are now happening in the release game. I mean. Betas yeah. are just early demos nowadays. I exactly like. What, they don't really is yeah, so much of a Does the Titanfall tech test, is this, is this a precursor to what Titanfall is going to happen, happen, have happened to it? I would anticipate no, seeing how smoothly the first game went, but we're not going to know until... It's another we're... EA game. You're right. So, hey, you're right. You're right. Who, who knows what can happen in the land of video games. Well, hopefully Respawn does a better job with that, because I am very excited for Titanfall 2. I'm so, excited. So look out. I'm going to be reviewing that for thegeekiverse.com. Uh, head to our website. You can get some awesome geek swag. I first. Good luck. I'll fight you for it. No, pre <laughs> prepare for Titanfall, my friend. Uh, go pick up some awesome geek swag through our website. Uh, we'll, we'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, you can also get Battlefield 4. <laughs> Battlefield 4. You can get Battlefield 1 right in uh, our Amazon description right below. I mean, I guess we. I, you could get Battlefield You could get Battlefield 4. If you, you can get Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield 4 is running perfectly now. <laughs> he said it, folks. So for Adam, I'm Josiah. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. I mean, like, somehow find a way to kill people with this. I don't think there's any damage to that. Okay. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, I hit him! I hit him! What? So good. Oh, yeah, we're